So to set up the template, all you do is you press the cog and that will take you into settings. In settings, you can see there's a whole bunch of different things you can do to manage how Powered Now works for you and your business. General settings, manage team, company details. I'll run through some of these in this demo, but as mentioned at the start, if you really want to get the power uh, out of Powered Now, come and have a conversation with us because we can help set this up for you. We speak to so many different companies. We know how different people work. So we can get this done and you probably never really have to go into the settings ever again. But we're going to start off with setting the templates. So to set the templates, hop into document and logo settings. And this is where you can decide um, how your invoices, your quotes and your worksheets actually look. If you remember at the very beginning, when we first signed up, we chose this template. Uh, you can change that. You can change it by clicking the edit layout and logos. And this is exactly as we've seen before. This is where we can choose different templates. I'm quite happy with this template, but I'm not happy because we haven't actually got a logo on there. So I'm going to add my company logo to it. If I press next, you can see I've got this add image button. If I press that, I can add my image. Now we have a whole uh, bunch of pre-built logos in the system for some of the most common uh, types of businesses. If I hop into, there we go. Maybe let's add a City and Guilds logo onto my document. You can move things around, you can reposition them, maybe make them a little bit smaller if you want to. But you can also upload your own. So if I go to upload images, and if you're doing this on your uh, mobile phone or your tablet, it'll access your photo library. So let's press the add logo. There we go. So I've got my nice colorful logo. I think that's a bit big. So let's make it a bit smaller. Reposition it a bit, make it look good. There we go. So I'm quite happy with that. It looks pretty smart, I think. Let's press next. You can also put some default text into the headers and footers of your documents. A good example is maybe on your quotes, you want to have uh, something in the footer saying a quote is valid for a period of time. So we have 30 days by default. But let's change that to seven. Uh, maybe on your invoices, you might actually want to put your bank details into every single invoice that gets sent out. So let's add some bank details. There we go. If you press next, that will now be on every single quote and invoice you send out. And there's other, th other things you can do as well, such as job sheets. But if you ever want to go exploring, you know where it is. We have a few final settings. Um, if we want to show our telephone number on the documents, we can show the company details. We can turn things on and off. And again, I suggest you come and have a play or have a one-to-one um, -one demo with us so we can get this set up for you. Press next, and that's what it looks like. I'm pretty happy with that. I think it looks pretty good. Let's press finish, and then we've set our uh, templates up. So that will now work for every single time we want to set a quote, an invoice, or a job sheet out of Power Now. So, what does that look like on the mobile? Well, it's exactly the same. If you click the cog up here, you'll see the settings are all available to you, and you can hop into the document and logo settings over there as well.